Hey guys, it's Jonathan for Total Brawlhammer, and today you will see the premiere of the Moon Dragon. I think this is the first time I've actually ever brought the Moon Dragon. So uh, let's see how he does. Today I'll be fighting the Dark Elves, and I'll be playing the High Elves. So for my army, I've got... Go ahead and kick into play here. One, two, three, four White Lines of Trace, four Spearmen, a Dragon Princess, two Archers, a Frostheart Phoenix, and a Moon Dragon. So I'm just going over here to scout out what he's got over here with the Moon Dragon and Frostheart Phoenix. I also got Teclis as my lord. So for my enemy, he's got some Dark Riders right here. He's got three groups of Shades, one group of Cold One Knights, uh, a front line of two Bleak Swords on the flanks, two Argonath Executioners, and a Black Ark Reserve, as well as a Death Egg on a Blood Cauldron, Malekith on his Cold One, and a Dread Spear in the back line. Alright, so let's kick into gear here. So he's just going to be prodding over here. I've seen his his shades at this point, so I'm going to be falling back with my Moon Dragon. They can do a lot of damage. He charges into these spearmen with his Dark Rider's shields, which I thought was an interesting choice. I'm going to get my archers over here to start shooting at these shades. And I'm going to try to get as much damage on these Dark Rider's shields as I can. So I'm going to send these spearmen and these white lines to trace after these Cold One Knights, and honestly, I overcommit on these Cold One Knights over here. I have three units that are going to go after them, and that's not going to be good for me. So he has this Death Hag coming in through the center here, and he's going to be able to look how much damage that Death Hag did. Oh my god. So I'm going to get some Dragon Breast off here, and I'm going to come down with my Frostheart Phoenix and start attacking this Death Hag. Unfortunately, the Phoenix does... Oh, oh, and there's the Dragon Breath. Honestly, it did almost as much damage to my guys as it did to his. That wasn't a very well lined up one, and it just breaks my guys immediately. So these Bleak Swords are on the Spearmen. They should be able to hold for a while. I have my Archers shooting at these Shades, but they haven't even taken them down to half health yet, surprisingly. These White Lines of Trace did get to these Dark Riders with Shields, but these Dark Riders with Shields are going to win because of just how much damage the Shades can do. And the thing about the Dark Elf range units is they have short range, but they fire twice with each volley. And uh, they also can arc over their own troops, so it, it really helps turn the front lines. I think the Dark Elves are probably the strongest faction. So I got my Moon Dragon, my Frostheart Phoenix after this Death Hag. As you can see, my Spearmen that we're supporting have, have been routed off. Gonna have my Dragon Princess come and charge in here. And he is on my Archers now. Having Teclis run away from uh, Malkith. As you can see, he drops a pretty good Blade Wind over here. Probably a waste, honestly. Would have been better used on. I don't know, probably this Blob of Spearman. But my archers were just unable to even take out one group of shades, even when two of them with Frelk was firing on them for like a minute. So this Death Hag does pull into this group of infantry, and I try to get my Frostheart Phoenix on it, but it just keeps on attacking the Bleak Swords for some reason. Gonna have my Dragon Princes over here start charging on it. I also got a Regrowth on them to try to keep them above that 50% mark so that they have that martial prowess. Or martial mastery, actually. Have my archer shooting at these guys, and let's see how fast these guys. 40 versus 36. So yeah, these black archers are indeed stronger, like I thought during the battle. So I'm not even gonna try to run away. And I do use a dragon breath on these guys, but for some reason it just hits my own units. So uh, really bad luck with those dragon breaths. And now he's shooting at my moon dragon with the shades, and it's not looking good. So I lost the infantry fight, and I lost it hard. I mean. At this point, look at what I have left as far as infantry, and look at what, what he has left. He's got some hard death executioners, a full group of dread spears, three shades, two of them haven't even been touched, half a group of bleak swords over here, more hard death executioners at half health. I mean, he won the infantry battle hard. However, he does overextend with Malkith over here, and his death hag. I am able to take down the death hag finally, and now I got this moon dragon and this uh, Rostar Phoenix going after. Malkith over here. I'm gonna pull the Moon Dragon back because I see his shades are coming into rage. And <laughs> I'm just charging these Dragon Princes through. I really gotta get on these guys in melee so that they will stop firing. If they're firing, I have no chance. And the Dark dark Elf uh, missiles are so strong. It's just ridiculous. So he does right off my Moon Dragon here. I just do come back. I'm gonna start shooting at these Hardened Executioners and just try to try to poke them down. But at this point, I've got some Dragon Princes left, a almost dead Moon Dragon, and uh, a Frostheart Phoenix that is losing to Malekith in melee. I do pop an Enfeebling Foe on him, and I am going to send Teclis in here as well. So the Moon Dragon is back, and I got I got 
his shades tied up with my dragon princess, so th this is time to strike with my moon dragon on Malekith. This is my chance to kill Malekith. I really need to take him down if I have any chance of winning. So, I'm going to run with these archers and have these white lions of trace run with these guys. These cold one knights are just going to bowl them over. No chance there. Going to have my moon dragon come down here and try to get a breath attack on those target executioners. Really important to take those guys out. And man, Malekith is just such a beast. His frost heart phoenix and techless, <laughs> they don't got a chance against him. But uh, even with the Enfeebling Foes going down, I'm going to pop the Potion of Troy and get out of there. And I'm going to try to get my Frostheart Phoenix out too. And as you can see, my Frostheart Phoenix isn't attacking. There he goes. That was, that was, like, a good, uh, that was like a good 15 seconds of him just standing there taking hits. So uh, I've been able to distract his shades for a long time with these Dragon Princes, just charging them through. Now I'm going to come in here with my Moon Dragon and finally... Gonna get some good damage on Malekith. And you see my Moon Dragon is fucking him up. Gonna drop a regrowth on him, which is very important. He's got some cold knights coming back in, but I really need to kill Malekith here. And uh, we're putting a lot of damage on him now. But the shades are back. So I'm gonna send Teclas over here to get, try to get into these uh, shades. Just to keep him from firing. He's going after Teclas with Malekith over here, but he does need her out. So I'm gonna pull my Moon Dragon away. Gonna have my Frostheart Phoenix go on these uh, shades to try to take him out, keep him from firing. And I'm gonna send Teclas over here to try to go finish off Malekith. So I got my Moon Dragon coming back. He's got pretty good health now from that regrowth. And I'm gonna drop him right on these shades. I'm sending these Frostheart Phoenix on these shades. And I'm sending Teclas after Malekith. So I wanna make sure that none of his shades can fire. Because that's. That's his main damage thing right now. Gonna run into these bleak swords with these dragon princes. Surprised I didn't break them, honestly. But I guess there's only like six of them left. Ten. I'm gonna pull them out and have them have them go after these shades, I believe. So I see Malkith is indeed rallying, but he's only got 297 HP left. So I'm gonna send Teclas over there to uh, give him a little poke in the rear there. And uh, Teclas is actually gonna be able to defeat Malkith here since he's so low. So I'm making sure to keep these shades from firing by having my guys on them in melee and it's working pretty good these guys are able to pull out I do pull my moon dragon out and try to get right back on I'm also gonna have my dragon princess come on these guys and uh, my frost heart phoenix he keeps on pulling his shades off and screening them with the spirit which is a really good idea but I'm gonna keep on pulling my phoenix out and keep on re-engaging on his uh, shades over here so Teclas does indeed kill Malekith, and that's really going to hurt the enemy morale. I have some archers over here. They're going to start shooting at some of these guys. And it is a really close battle here, guys. Basically, if these shades can fire, then I lose. So I'm going to drop an Infilibing Foe on them, just uh, in hopes of taking them out faster. And as you can see, the terror routes are going through now. So now all of a sudden, it's looking pretty okay to me, for me. My Moon Dragon is almost dead, though. Teclas is almost dead. Everything I have is just a sliver of health. He's got a uh, comparatively healthy unit of Blackheart Crusaders and Hargoneth Executioners over here. So I'm like, well, I gotta make sure these shades do not come back. So I'm just gonna keep on chasing them here. These Bleak Swords are gonna rally, and I'm gonna start shooting at them with my archers because I see they start running at them. But my Moon Dragon does come back. I'm gonna keep these guys chasing off these shades, keep Teclas chasing off these Dread Spears. I can't allow any of these guys to come back. If any of them come back, then, then I'm ruined. As you can see, the balance of power is actually in my favor right now, and I assume it's because I have this dragon left. But uh, if I get into a big melee brawl, if, these, if this dragon even gets close to these guys, I'm thinking it's probably going to break. So right now, I'm, I'm just making sure that these guys get forced off the field. It's my only chance of winning. And I think the High Elf versus Dark Elf matchup is a really tough one, just because the Dark Elf infantry trashes the High Elf infantry. Surprisingly enough, since High Elf infantry is supposed to be slightly more elite. And uh, the Dark Elf missiles are really what what determines it. So uh, I actually win here in Zombie Routes, and that happened because I actually popped a regrowth on my dragon. And that sent the balance of power so far into my favor that his army just got army losses and lost. So that was that was pretty cool. Very close battle. So Teclas here with 21 kills. Uh, all my infantry just got run over. They were pretty much they were pretty much useless, honestly. They were just there to hold the enemy for a while for, so that my Dragon Princess, who got three chevrons and 159 kills, could do good. And my Frostheart Phoenix, who got one chevron, 31 kills, but it was mostly attacking single enemy targets. Moon Dragon with 120, killed a lot of our own guys, so uh, 
Not not the best first experience with the Moon Dragon, but hey, she uh, she pulled it through for us. So, like in Lupin over here, his uh, his Death Hag did, didn't get that many kills, honestly. Would have expected he got them more. Black Heart Crusaders got into some Spearmen, and Black Heart Crusaders absolutely wrecked Spearmen. His Bleak Swords did pretty good, absolutely destroyed his Dread Spears. Uh, his Shades got a lot of damage on the Dragon, but, and uh, quite a lot on my White Lines of Trace as well. He kind of misused his Dark Riders and Cold One Dread Knights. Oh, those are Dread Knights even. And his Harkness Executioners did really well too. They just, they absolutely crush uh, White Lines of Trace. I'd have to try them one one on one, but I don't think the white lines of trace even trade effectively. And honestly, I think uh, martial prowess needs to be redone on the high elves. I see it more as a weakness really than a strength, because once they get below half health, they're just their infantry are honestly kind of subpar, especially for the price. But that's a discussion for another time. This is all for this one, guys. This is Jonathan for Total Bro Hammer signing out.